Direct the question to the chair, to the staff. Councillor Ford, you have every right to ask that question. Do, do I need uh, the, the cackling uh, class behind No, you behind don't me? need it. And I'm going to ask members of the public, members of council, please do not disrupt the council meeting. This is not a staff recommendation in the first place. The way you're answering is he can still do his job. And that is not correct. Okay, Councillor Ford, please. Councillor Ford, you can, you can say that when you speak. Well, that's just a small taste of what happened yesterday in Toronto City Council. And I'm joined by Councillor Vince Cassanti. He is the Ward 1 Councillor in Toronto and is the chair of the Etobicoke Community Council. All right, Councillor Cassanti, um, the unprecedented vote, you voted against it. But moving forward, do, what does it mean? Because ostensibly there's almost two, a duality of mayors here because you guys voted to reduce, not you, others, 36 of the councillors, voted to reduce Mayor Ford's office budget by $800,000, transferring all that money over to Deputy Mayor Norm Kelly, mm -hmm. who uh, now takes over many of those responsibilities. Where does the staff go? Who is running the city? Okay, well, uh, Adrian, first of all, yeah, all that has to be filtered out. Mm -hmm. We've yet... At, uh, to determine how that's all going to play out. Okay. Nobody really knows. Totally unprecedented. And uh, I know that they're meeting as we speak right now to try and figure that out. So who is themselves. it? The city solicitor, the clerk's office, the city manager, they're, they're Norm all, Kelly? All of them are together discussing it and how it's going to filter out. But I do want to add, though, mm -hmm. that the, the reason I, I did not support this motion yeah. is because last week, we put forward a number of motions mm -hmm. that I did support. Right, and you at that point thought that was enough. What happened Absolutely. on Friday was enough. A Yesterday number of was things, a bit of overkill. A number of things happened, not just one, but about four or five different things happened last week that were mm -hmm. very important to stabilize government. The concern now is, do we really have a stable government? We, in, in essence, have two mayors, mm -hmm. two people running the city, two decision makers, There'll be confusion and there'll be chaos. It and should have never happened. Uh, it sh but we don't want to see the province step in on this, do we, Vince? I mean, we don't want an unelected uh, no, uh, premier to to uh, impose her will uh, on uh, an elected absolutely. council. Absolutely, the province has its own issues. The of city course. is far better run currently than the province is on, on the fiscal side of it, for sure. I want to ask you on a personal note because you, you've been friends with Rob Ford for a long time. You're the Ward One councillor out in the Tobacco. You campaigned with him. He campaigned with you. Uh, you endorsed one another. Have you spoken to him since uh, this all unfolded yesterday? Adrian, uh, uh, yes. Uh, have I spoken to him? I've spoken to him a number of times. I encouraged him, uh, you know, with, with uh, everything that I had to try and convince mm -hmm. him to please take the time to look after your issues. I do not condone anything mm -hmm. that Mayor Ford has done. Do not support anything that he's done. He hasn't been a good example for Torontonians. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, and you support my, the agenda. I do support the direction that it's been going, and now the concern is whether this agenda will continue they to drive in a, that direction. Vince, they would have us believe that the, the Fords are the only ones that could carry the flag for the fiscal conservative agenda, fiscally responsible agenda at City Hall. Um, there are others around that council chamber, yourself Absolutely. and Councillor Nunziata, Councillor Delgran, Councillor Stintz, a lot of people who are prepared to, to run uh, the ball up the hill. That will continue, will it not? Absolutely. There's a number of us, including myself, as you just said, that are going to continue to drive mm -hmm. this agenda, for, agenda forward as best as we can. Yeah. But it's always led by the mayor. Mm -hmm. And the mayor has been done an excellent job in terms of driving the agenda to where it is today and where we need it to go to the end of this term. Well, I appreciate you coming in and speaking with us. The pressure is all mine. Thank the, you. Thank you. The, uh, that was Councillor Vince Cassanti, is the Ward 1 Councillor, Chair of the Tobacco Community Council and a member of Mayor Rob Ford slash Deputy Mayor Norm Kelly. Executive. Welcome.